Well, hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. So for that, I'm extremely grateful. I am going to do a Taurus, who is my soulmate reading for September. Please keep in mind. This is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. I'm going to do a three-card spread. And I'm just going to find out what the spirit guides tell me and my ancestors about whom, whomever I'm reading for, who is your soulmate? Who is Taurus soulmate? If you uh, like my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you decide to do that. I'm always most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Let's see, Taurus, who is your soulmate? Spirit guys, can you please show me who is Taurus' soulmate in September? Show me who's around them. Who is their soulmate in September? Please keep in mind the energy can go either way. Let's see who is your soulmate. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Let's see who your soulmate is. Let's see, Taurus. The Magician, Seven of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. Well, I'm going to tell you what I think here, Taurus. Your soulmate is someone that you manifested, that, that you asked the universe for, and they came straight to you. They came straight to you. This is someone that you have asked for, and you received it. You received your soulmate. But here's the deal. You know, we don't, and you thought it was beautiful, it was wonderful, all of the above. You were in love. But you know what it is about life? We don't always get exactly what we want. Somehow they betrayed you, but you still love them. I don't know what happened. They betrayed you, but you still love them. Let me tell you why I say this. Because something has happened where it was some form of betrayal. Some form of betrayal here, even though you manifested this and you thank the universe and you it was magic. It was a it was it was just it was miracles. I mean, this was someone that you couldn't believe that the universe sent to you. But there has been a betrayal here. There has been a betrayal. But what's interesting is that you still love them. And let me tell you this. Sometimes, sometimes, and I, I know I'm going to tell you exactly what I see, though. Sometimes. First of all, a betrayal is a very hurtful thing. But for your soulmate, I think they were going through something. Not saying that I condone the betrayal, but there's some, some reason why you want to forgive them. Some reason why, because I have the Two of Pentacles here. And the Two of Pentacles is juggling that energy. You can walk away at any time. At any time. You could tell them to kiss your grits, to go kick rocks. But there's something that's still here and you're still juggling this energy with them. You're still juggling, I love you, I hate you, I hate you, I love you, I love you, I hate you, I hate you, I love you. But more than anything, light overcomes darkness and you still love them. I don't know why the Seven of Swords is here. I don't know if they betrayed you with another person or if they betrayed you by ghosting you. I don't know what they did, but somehow in your heart space, you felt betrayal. Yet... The, the universe brought you exactly what you wanted. Maybe they betrayed you because they did drugs. I don't know. Maybe they stole money. I don't know. But there has been some form of betrayal, but you still are in love with them. They are your soulmate. And perhaps you just can help them get over this hurdle or whatever they're, they're dealing with. That's who your soulmate is. So there's someone that's right there by you, someone that's been there with you, and someone that you felt like, I mean, you were on cloud nine when you were with this person. You couldn't believe the universe um, gave you this person. So, let's see. Let's see. Show me. Spirit guys, I am going to clarify to see if the spirit guys are going to give me any additional information about what has happened with the soulmate or why, you know, this betrayal card is here. Let's see. Give me two to four minutes and let's just see what the spirit guys are going to say. Let's see. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the magician here? For my Taurus. Show me spirit guys. Knight of Pentacles. You were someone that's very patient. You been you were very patient. And you it took you a long time to get this person. You have been asking for quite some time, and then they, the universe brought them to you. You were determined though, because the Knight of Pentacles is determined. They go after their goals and they achieve their goals. It might take them a little while, it might be patience, and this is definitely you, Taurus. You have been patient. 
but they revealed themselves. They manifested. You manifested them. So let's see why the Seven of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Show me, Spirit Guides. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you what I... Mm -hmm. Yeah, they betrayed you with another woman. They betrayed you with another woman because the high priestess is the other woman. You found out they had another woman. Oof. Sorry. You found out they had another woman. You did. But you know, yet and still, and I'm just saying, I don't think they have that other woman anymore. I think that this could have been, um, could have made a mishap. They just made a mishap. But I don't think they have the other woman anymore. So let's see why is the, the two of pentacles here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the two of pentacles here? Oh, I have the judgment. What did I tell you? You want to be back with this person. They betrayed you. Even though you're going through your emotions right now. Your soulmate is someone that has betrayed you with another woman. Or has betrayed you. But there was a there was something that was going on. But I'm not condoning it. But you want to forgive them. Because it's this judgment card. You realize that your life is better with them rather than without them. You are willing to forgive. Perhaps you have things that you need forgiveness for as well. I strongly don't think that your soulmate is still with someone else. I don't. I just don't think there was someone else, um, Taurus. But like I said, they did betray you with another woman. The other woman. But the other woman, I do believe, is gone. I think that they are, that it's gone. And I think that you want to forgive them. And you know, I always say it's up to you. You know, it's up to you. First of all, you must forgive anyway because that is totally on you. That's the only way you're going to be able to continue to go through life. But you also want, with the judgment card there, you realize, you have a realization that this, you and this person, that this person is your soulmate. And in addition, you want a reunion with them. You want to get back with them. They are your soulmate and you feel it and you know it. That's what I have for your soulmate is, Taurus. Mm 